Happy holidays, everyone. We finally made it to December, my favorite time of the year. Why? Not just because of Christmas, but because it's my birthday month. So I really hope that everyone is getting into the Christmas spirit and getting excited for the season of giving and receiving and just hopefully just bringing out the best of all of us in this horrible, horrible year. I am even trying to be a little festive with my Savage Christmas shirt from Route 21. I thought perfect shirt for my first video of December. All right guys, so if this is your first time on my channel, make sure that you're pressing that subscribe button, make sure you're pressing that like button, make sure you go check out some of my old videos because I have been killing it. All right, I finally got to do a haul uh, for Asus and uh, I've wanted to do this brand for quite a long while because you don't have to break the bank to be stylish. There's no reason to do that. You can do it and be cost effective. And luckily for me, Asus is one of those brands that actually does have great prices for all of their products. So I thought this haul would be perfect for you all who are trying to figure out some ideas or, you know, for yourselves, for someone else on what to get them for the holidays because their shipping's fast so far and they have a lot of stuff. So let's take a look at what I got and then I'll try it on for you. All right guys, so let's talk about the first thing that I got from them. As you all know, I am obsessed with the Chelsea boot look, which made me buy my first pair of leather Chelsea boots. These also were a little different because they have a heel on them. Now with 6'3", I thought maybe that would look weird, but I tried them on and they look so good. Like I am obsessed with them. They have this uh, toe, which is like crazy. I thought was very unique about them. You all know that I really try to get something that's unique. Not just everyone is going to be seen in it. That's the point of having your own style. You can even pull from others, but if you put your own twist on it, it's so much more worth it. I got my first duffel bag too. I mean, this one is a little smaller than what I wanted. It's a Ben Sherman duffel bag. So it comes with the shoulder strap this is a good overnight bag i was really looking for like a travel bag for when the world opens back up it could be my travel bag but this is more of an overnight couple days max a getaway type deal but the leather is nice it's uh faux leather i dig this a lot and i'm happy that i got it this it's kind of out of my comfort zone, but I wanted to try something different. And I was trying to see if this would be something that I'd be open to rocking. And what it is, is a rock shirt, kind of. So it's meant to be wrinkled. It's low cut. It's meant to give you like that rock and roll look, that big sized look. So I really liked this one. So this one, I'm excited to try this on. I don't usually wear big clothes and the fact that this one kind of hangs off you a little bit kind of got me a little excited, a little bit. I'm also a little nervous, but we'll see. The next two things that I got were pretty old school and I'm pretty excited about. I got turtlenecks. When was the last time you just rocked a turtleneck? Like when did you last go into your closet and say, I want to cover my neck completely and I'm down to rock this turtleneck. If you're like me, it hasn't been since I was a child. So I decided I'm bringing back the turtleneck on my end. So I bought it in the sweater material of a light gray and made sure that it was uh, it's fitted so it's perfect for that. And I also, Got a knit version of it, a lighter fabric, you know, so that it'll breathe a little bit better. I won't get so hot uh, and a lighter gray. Now, I also just randomly got a beanie because I've been trying to wear my hair down more 
and I thought, why not wear a beanie? Because when my hair was shorter, I actually did wear a beanie every day. And it wasn't until like I started to feel my hair getting matted up under it that I decided to stop rocking them. So now that my hair is a lot longer, there are different styles that I'm trying to go after. And I think the beanie look with my long curly hair would actually look kind of good. All right, guys. So that's everything. Now I thought I would try it on and actually show you all what I was thinking when I bought these outfits because I also just got the dopest jacket from Amazon. Honestly, it's a black and white um, woven trench coat that I think would be perfect for this. So let's try that on and we'll see if this was a good idea and a good haul from Asus. All right guys, so this is how I pretty much put the outfit together. I thought with some simple black jeans, the boots, and my turtleneck it would be a good casual look then you add the duffel bag and you got yourself a good outfit to be on the go with i think this is a great traveling outfit this is a good stylish casual look now i did say i had a jacket that i thought would go perfect with it now let's take a look at this with it this i got from amazon I like this. I like this a lot. Not a lot of colors. I'm keeping it very simple. This is that look that I've really been going for. I really wanted to have that professional, very fashion forward, that dress casual look. And I'm so happy I was able to get that with this. So this is definitely my main outfit. Let's take a look at one more that I was thinking about putting together with the other turtleneck. So this is the next outfit. I thought I'd do something a little bit different with this turtleneck. So because it has a lighter gray, I was like, why not still play with the black and white? So still kept the Chelsea boots, did some overalls instead to give it a classy street look and still felt like the jacket fit perfect for this. I like that the overalls gave me a completely different look than just wearing some jeans. The jeans gave me that look of very dress business casual where these still kind of give you that urban look. Honestly, the turtleneck was something that I was just trying to see if it looked good and turned out I like it a lot. I think this is a good look. All right, let's take a look at my last outfit. Right, so this is the last outfit. I really like this shirt. Um, it's a little exposed. I'm not used to that, but I like this. I like the material. It's really thin, very breezy. I feel like I have like that rock and roll look going on, you know? I think that's what like this is meant to be for. The boots go really well with it. The black denim jeans, perfect for it. It's definitely one of those moments where all black works together and it looks so good. This is not your everyday shirt. This is definitely a party shirt, a going out shirt. Like, I don't usually have all this happening out here, but this is pretty cool. But then I also thought, why not make it a little bit better with my leather jacket? This is the piece de resistance. Look at this. This is a whole mood. Throw on a leather jacket, baggy shirt, denim jeans, Chelsea boots, and you got yourself a whole look. This was all great. So guys, tell me what you think. Were these some good ideas for outfits? Did I buy some good stuff from Aces? Have you guys shopped at Aces before? Let me know in the comments what you think. Be checking out my Instagram because I will be posting some new pictures in these outfits in about a week or so before my next collab with Rude21. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you're giving it a thumbs up. Make sure you're going to check out my previous videos because they are freaking dope. But until next week, guys, remember, show love, support the dream, and spread positivity. I'll see you guys soon, okay?